back again and in this bag we have a full face of Hard Candy Cosmetics makeup. Now we're going to get into that in just a second. What I Alrighty, so let's get into this full face of makeup. We're doing Hard Candy Cosmetics like I said before. This is a brand I've actually never heard of. So let's do a full face. Alrighty, let's get in on this and uh, what we're going to start out with is Hard Candy's Sheer Envy Blur Primer and it says it's selfie approved and it's soft focus blur effect. Just Kind of a peachy color. Weird smell to it. it. Has a soft focus blurring effect, it says. And I have some larger pores uh, due to acne all my life. Feels kind of smooth on my skin. Still has that weird smell to it, but we'll get past it. And just looking on my hand, um, I did smear around. Um, it really does blur my larger pores, which is really nice. Next, we I went ahead and wanted to try their um, Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation. And uh, like again, it does have this little seal twist. Peel off. It has a ginormous doe foot. Lots of coverage. It smells like every other foundation. Now this says 16 hour wear, oil free. That's good. I had to go with nude. Full coverage foundation, lightweight formula offers full coverage yet feels weightless and comfortable and with added vitamin E. Okay, and they are cruelty free. That's good. Hey, let's go ahead and try this out. Okay. This color is definitely not mine. I've tried doing a little shade matching. But let's just stick with it. I'm really pale and this kind of sits a little more tan on my face, which is weird, especially for a nude. Um, I might have got warm undertones, nude, but it it just straight up says nude. So I mean maybe the concealer will help. So this is Glamouflage Hard Candy Heavy Duty Concealer. And it also comes with a little pencil right up here. Which is around. I like I like the aesthetic, I really do. 0.7 ounces. So that's, that's pretty standard, okay. I went ahead and used the color light. It that's that's all they said. Um so okay. Um that's what it has. Um Sure, let's test it out. That might be a little too much, but uh... Okay, um, I definitely put a lot on there. Let me just go fix that up. Okay, so fix it up. I put my hair back because it was kind of getting in there. Okay. So you don't need a lot, I found out, which is really, that's really nice. We're gonna try.
This is not a bad concealer. No. Now you don't need a lot, it looks like. And it gives you a lot back. It is a more matte foundation. So it does give you a lot back with using so little, which is really nice. Not bad. Not in love with this squeeze tube, but hey, you do what you do. Alrighty, and next, um, we're gonna try their Blurring and Cool Refining Sheer Envy uh, Setting Powder. It is oil-free, loose powder. Um, they only had one and it was the universal um so we'll see how universal it really is all right still animal friendly 12 months it's this light reflecting loose powder filters blurs and minimizes minor imperfections leaving skin looking flawless the weightless universally colored powder helps to refine pores fine lines marks and redness actually works. Okay. Ooh, I I like how they ooh, I love that. It's nice and shiny. I love the sign. Has a nice little protector. Mmm, it looks really it looks really tan honestly. And Super hard to get out. Like. There we go. Kind of. It's. texture but uh, like I said it's pretty dark um, let's just see what happens alrighty got my brush dip it in there There's still a lot on my brush, and um, it kind of bounced off to my shirt. I'm uh, right when I touched it, it like clung to the skin. I'm just trying to even it out. Cause this side it looks looks pretty decent away a lot of that do look but it takes so much okay. okay if you beat your brush and get a lot off um, it looks pretty nice I'm pretty upset with the container um, because it took me beating the container to get it out um, so this is definitely going to be a no for me. I will definitely be sticking with my setting powder from Revlon. It is new, it's out in the market, it's at Walmart. Um, it, it's just so fine. This one is just, it takes the dew away kind of, but it also darkens. And it is definitely not universal. Let's just say that. Ready. And uh, next we're going on to the Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer, Eyes the Limit. I like the little packaging. Again, with this tube kind of thing, 
Um, I'm not really living for that kind of packaging, but I'm gonna get this all out of my blending beauty blender into this, and it's just it's not a fan, honestly. Some of this I'm just not a fan. Um, right? Lots of liquid just came out. Um, okay. Try this one more time. Oh. Okay, um. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and blend put this on my eye. Shadow primer is meant to be much lighter. It actually matches the concealer sheeting. So that's not bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that on. Not upset over the consistency now. Um, but liquid came out and I had to shake the bottle before I could get a solid product out. I was not expecting that. Let's go ahead and make sure I got lots of primer. Okay, now normally foundation and everything goes on last. Um, I just wanted to really test it out first. Um, Not tacky. Pretty smooth. Like I said, it matches the concealer. Not super, not super upset about the consistency and how it goes on. Beauty Blender really added some oomph to it, I guess. Uh, let me just. It is sticking into my creases, but. Uh, normal for me. Okay. Not upset about this. That that's that's a maybe. Well give you my full thoughts on that in a minute after I'm done with this full face. Um we're gonna go into the eyeshadow palette here in just a second. I wanna grab this other piece that they do. It's called Oopsie Proof Makeup Eraser. Instantly touch up and correct mistakes. And it's this packaging. Um, it's ideal to correct makeup smudges, smears, mistakes during application. Ultra precise tip is easy to use, gentle on skin, and can correct even the tiniest of errors. To use, sweep the tip of the pen across makeup where you want to remove. Can be used on brows, eyeliner, mascara, or lip color. It is suggested to clean a tip with a tissue after each use. Okay. Go ahead and get this open. Okay. Stroke of gorgeousness. And it's probably just alcohol. It's in here. 0 0.015 fluid ounces. Okay. It's removing the stuff on my fingers really well. Um, we're going to try that out later. I know I'm going to make a mistake on my eyeliner or something like that. Let's just get into this eyeshadow palette. I thought it was adorable and it's super shimmery. Um, I want to see if those are just spray overs or they're actually shimmery. Um, it comes with two dual tipped um, brushes. One is actually a dual tip brush. One is other is an applicator. That uh, it's got this cute little hard candy button that you press to open. Clips shut. It's nice. Ooh, it's got this cute little mirror. That's super cute. Um, not removable. Okay, gotcha. Um, that's really cute that they come with that. Let's show these brushes. They've got the 
one that I always use for my eyeliner. And then they've got the fluffy brush. It's super, super soft. They're really soft. And then they've got this dual tipped eyeshadow applicator. Um, something I used to use as a kid, and it was super fun to just be out there crazy when I was little. Um, I haven't used these since I was like six. But since they came with it, I Yes, I'll try it. Okay, we're just. This looks really nice. They're all glittery and they're all looking really nice. We're gonna use this applicator for. Um, ooh, this one looks opalescent. I don't know if you can see, but it does. We're just gonna take that. It's it's a silvery color. Where did that pigment go? Let me just grab that with my hand. Okay. Um, so you can see it on camera. It looks, honestly, it looks more like a highlighter. Um, that's super thrilled about that one. Um, let's try this purple one. Not going on there really great. And okay. Got some pigment. It looks like a glittery bruise. Um, not super mad about the pigment. So I went ahead and used this brush um, that came with it, the fluffy side, and I dipped into that sparkly bluish color. And um, it's it's on there. Let's just see here. Okay, it is, it is going on. Okay, so using the brush that came with the hard candy palette, um, I dipped into that bluish sparkle, not the deep blue, the lighter blue, and the sparkle and shimmer is there, um, but it kind of fades really hard, and there's a lot of extra, there's a lot of extra glitter on the brush that I just spread all over my bathroom. Um, but let's keep going. Maybe we'll get lucky with another color. Okay, so that actually went really far. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of fallout everywhere from there. Um, on the side, we're actually going to use my BH Cosmetics brushes just to see the difference if it's maybe the brush that came with it. Um, Got to give everything a fighting chance. But uh, it blended really nicely with this other color. None of them have actual color names, so I'm just gonna go this color, that color. Um, but that was that was all right. And now I'm gonna cut this crease. Alrighty, so tried to cut the crease with the using their primer. Um, not super happy with it. Uh, kind of chunky, kind of bunches up in a lot of places, and does not cover as well as I'd like it to. We're going to move right along and grab another color here um, for this crease. Give me just a second here. Alright, we're going to grab this dark gray, black, shimmery, whatever it is, and uh, start on the inside. Alrighty, and again, there is a lot of fallout on my face. Uh, shimmer kind of went away. It's not gold, flaky, silvery kind of look. It's more of just a black. Um, 
noticed I, I did want to let you know that I did switch to the other side for a more specific line, uh, which honestly did not happen anyway. Um, it didn't go onto this side of the brush really well. Um, it doesn't really go on either side of the brush really well. So I don't recommend using the brush that comes with it. For this final one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna use this applicator. And we're gonna go in with the silver we did up here. super mad about this color all the way. Um, still kind of lost a lot of pigment um, and a lot of fallout still guys. This palette has a lot of fallout and that I was not expecting. Okay, so uh, again just not really happy with the fallout and the pigmentation kind of makes it look like you have a black eye, blue eye. Um, but let's continue with just one more color on the inner eye here. Okay, so a lot of the dark color transferred somehow. Did that use that color? This brush. So a lot of it did get picked up. Um, I think it's actually the fallout that happened for that inner eye, and I'm just. Uh, I'm gonna stop there. I'm just gonna stop there because this palette is not working with the brushes they gave me. We're going to try it on this eye with a few different colors, um, hopefully it looks better, works better. Um, always got to give each, uh, each palette a fighting chance. Okay, we're going to go with this purple on the bottom. Okay, still, still having issues getting it onto the brush, so I don't think it was the brush's fault that came with it, um, but we're going to do just a quick eye look. Okay, so I did two pats into the purple, and where did all the pigment go? Let's try a little harder in there. I just pressed really hard into there and got a little bit more. Um, No, a lot less pigmented than I thought it would be. Ah, oh, just not extremely happy. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. So I went ahead and put on that pink, deeper pink, and honestly. It, the formula blends really well, honestly. Like, look at that seamless blend that I just did that I can never do otherwise. I'm not mad about this pink. It looks really nice. Blends really well with that purple. And sits. This is really nice. Um, okay, now what we're gonna do instead of what I normally do with um, cleaning up my makeup off camera, we're actually gonna use this uh, Oops Proof Makeup Eraser. And came off in my hand. Okay, so one swipe is pretty much all you get, unless you clean it after every swipe. Not upset about it, because uh, it did remove some of it, but it's, it's going to be a no, because it 
it really didn't fix what I needed it to fix. It is not oops proof. Um, let's just show you what I normally do. Just swipe. Look at that. Put it over here. Swipe. Quick. Easy. And all I gotta do is touch up my concealer afterwards, which is not a hard thing to do. Okay, so I went and did this eye again with the same colors that I did over here. Um, just to do the full face. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do their eyeliner. It is Stroke of Gorgeousness 12 Hour Waterproof Smudge Proof Felt Tip Eyeliner. Ultra Fine Tip Precision Application. Let's go ahead. Y'all see that? Okay, alright. So not very precision if you have to see. press to get anything. Not super pleased with this. Um, didn't get very far. Staying on really well. Still not very pleased. So for comparison, we're going to go in with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Weirdo Liquid Lip on this eye, just to complete the look. Alrighty, Jeffree Star liquid lipstick on this eye for the eyeliner, and then their fine tip precision. Um, not very precision if you have to press down all the way to the base. I was not happy with it. Um, just to show comparison of how easy it was just to use that. Um, Alrighty, so a couple things to mention at the end of this. Um, I am not affiliated, nor do I work for Hard Candy, um, so this is my honest review. Um, palette, setting powder, um, glamouflage, foundation, the um, eye primer, the oops proof eraser, and the eyeliner. These, all a no for me. Um, the, eyeliner was hard to put on and it was very difficult unless you pressed all the way to the base or pressed really hard on your skin which was not the point of a fine tip applicator. Now the eyeliner, eyeshadow that I have right now on, it, uh, it blended really nicely. The others did not. They lost their luster. They didn't show up well in the brush. Um, and it wasn't the brush because this was applied with um, this side at the beginning was applied with the brushes they came with and this side was applied with the brushes that I have from BH Cosmetics. Um, both did not apply properly. They didn't last very long on the brush. I had to dip in multiple times in the pan and there was so much fallout. I think I got it all. Um, but like I said, um, lost their luster. Like, there's no glimmer in this purple anymore, and it just sits. Um, granted, they sit really nice. I will give them that. They sit really nice when they're on there. Uh, the primer was chunky. Liquid came out. I had to shake it before I could use it um, because of just liquid coming out. Now, the 
foundation is matte and it, it I tried shade matching in the store and I tried shade matching online and um, I didn't even get my shade properly. The ones that I say yes to are minimal at best. Um, it's definitely a maybe. This heavy duty concealer, it went on really nice. It was gave a lot of shine and a lot of a lot of look back into my face. Um, this is more my color compared to the foundation. So I'm going to keep this in my pile of positive reviewed makeup. As well as this primer smelled kind of weird to me, but it did give a really blurred look. Like I it blurred out my my biggest pores. Um so this is gonna stay in my pile of makeup. Um I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, my other social media will be down below as well. And um, anything went wrong in this video, do leave a comment below. As always, stay sugar sweet. See you next time.